Hi Gemini, welcome to your September 2021 general reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun and Rising Signs. Uh, Gemini, special welcome to my podcast listeners on Apple, Spotify and Amazon Music. Feel free to, to go out and check on my YouTube channel at any time. It's Gypsy Insights by Michelle for more readings. Uh, Gemini, let's uh, let's see what's going on here for you. General reading today, love, life, career, finances, all of that good stuff. Let's get the general energy for Gemini for the month of September. General energy around Gemini for the month. Oh, this one wanted to pop out. I'm actually going to get one more. Let's see. General energy around Gemini. Okay. Keeping your distance, I get an energy of silence. I also get a secretive kind of energy around that as well. Uh, we'll see where that goes. Uh, let's get some tarot down for you. Uh, we'll clarify. I've already got a base layer of tarot down, but uh, let's put some more down for some further depth. We'll clarify this reading for you. For my beautiful Geminis for the month of September. It feels a little bit like same old, same old. Now, for some of you that may actually be a good thing. For others of you, maybe not so much, but I, I feel it's split. The energy there feels to be split around my Geminis at the moment. It may be a temporary energy that I'm picking up around you as well. So let's get uh, let's get this down. We'll have a look at, uh, at you, uh, the theme of the month, uh, anything that uh, you might be uh, pursuing, an obstacle that you might face, any accomplishments, something that you might need to avoid, uh, what you should embrace, some supporting of energy, and uh, some advice there for you. Uh, Gemini, let's get a card from this deck here. Spiritual message for my beautiful Gemini's for the month of September. Okay. Oh, the bluebird of happiness is in the building. We like that. Yeah, I, I do get an energy of uh, waiting. So let's see where this goes. Yeah, the dreamer and the two of swords in the reverse. Yeah, you know, spirit is asking you to uh, to trust your judgment. Uh, it feels like uh, taking that leap of faith, pushing your fears aside. The dreamer, of course, is the fool in this particular deck. So it feels like taking a chance. But it, it feels like all of this is going on behind the scenes. Like you're not speaking a lot about this. You're dreaming. Uh, you fantasizing about uh, a new start, what you might like to do. You feel like uh, the time is approaching for you to make a choice, to make a decision on what to commit to. We do have the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. So it's important for you right now to uh, to bring balance into your life. Uh, it feels like anything that you've been juggling that has become too much, you are going to try to get a handle on. Okay. I see you very focused on things that bring you peace, that bring you, that are going to lead to your, your happiness. Anything uh, extra, anything in your life that is uh, distracting, uh, causing you to lose balance, perhaps uh, something that feels a little bit too much for you right now, something that feels too hard. It feels like you, you're going to be reprioritizing and juggling. Well, it feels like, actually feels like um, the timing right now in the month of September is causing you to see where your life could potentially get out of hand. Okay. 
All right, we have the, the Queen of Wands here and the Eight of Swords in reverse. So, Gemini, uh, this feels like um, independence, being in control of your own life, believing in yourself. Uh, certainly it feels like um, maintaining this balance. Yeah, I get this energy around you of um, seeing anything that may be feeling personally restrictive whatever that is for some of you it's it's a group of people people that perhaps have felt confining it may just be one person for some of you but it feels like breaking free of that maintaining your independence uh, i see this as you in a position of authority in your own life meaning uh, this is not something that you want to give up okay ego and the two of pentacles in reverse is coming up as the obstacle i'm not surprised because the whole theme of the month is about letting go of whatever is causing you to feel like a life is a struggle at the moment anything that's too hard uh, if there's anything that you feel is trapping you uh, anything that you feel a great deal of uh, responsibility that isn't yours I get you making choices that uh, support your path to this bluebird spirit which is all about happiness anything that feels restrictive anything that feels uh, it's causing you to lose confidence um, anything that makes you feel out of control Mm. Uh, yeah I get stabilizing yourself making sure that your life is stable okay we've got the king of wands and the six of wands that's a nice energy I see this as uh, elements of yourself I see victory here uh, vic being victorious in your own life I see you taking the lead in your own life. It feels very much like, um, well, again, I, I do get ego, but I pick it up more as healthy ego. Uh, not letting your ego get out of control. It feels inspirational. It feels motivational. It feels... Uh, like a, a leader okay taking the lead in your own life uh, I also get this being the dragon being the dragon being very confident if there's anything that you have wavered on I see you being very confident and making a choice okay now we do have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Yeah, this is what making you feel trapped. It, it feels like a, a situation here where you have a number of people around you and having, yeah, again I get entrapment. Being afraid to take action not taking responsibility for your happiness something seems to be causing you to feel unhappy here it seems to be about choice Gemini you've been hesitant to make a choice but not making the choice here has made you feel unhappy it's felt like a burden okay so it seems like you've had um, a couple of different choices in front of you Gemini a couple of different options that you've been juggling what should I do what should I do I get you feeling burdened by that the burden of responsibility is weighing heavily around you and so I get you 
recognizing that you have the power to free yourself from indecision. Indecision is the entrapment, okay, around a group of people that are around you. Now, for some of you, it's a choice um, to let go of someone or maybe some people out of your life, people that you've been hesitating to make a decision about. For some of you who are dating, it could be a dating situation where you're hesitant to make a choice among partners. But I get a clear winner here. There's a clear winner. We've got Queen of Wands, King of Wands. There's a clear choice, a clear winner. I see success, but only through making a choice. Okay. But you're hesitant to let go of these choices because it seems like, uh, well, they might be feeding your ego, uh, Gemini. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords here and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Mm. This does feel like a bit of guilt, sleepless nights, what do I do, what choice do I make? I get some of you Geminis might actually feel a bit guilty about uh, not speaking up about how you uh, what you're experiencing right now, uh, this indecision. Mm. Yeah, for some of you, you've been holding back on speaking a truth because of feelings of guilt, sleepless nights. What do I do? What choice do I make? Okay. Now the supportive energy around you is the Queen of Pentacles. Now this is a, uh, again I see this as you. It feels about, uh, it feels about, uh, well, I'm getting it as a practicality, a sensible approach. There's a little bit of frustration. Okay. Yeah, I feel it's about uh, cutting back choices here to focus on something long term. Taking a practical approach. Being sensible. Cutting things down. Yeah, it seems like you've been, I, I get an energy of decluttering, making your life more simple, simplifying your life, cutting down. Okay. And we do have the Eight of Wands here and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, too much going on here. You've got a lot of positive opportunities around you, but it's actually causing you stress. Now, you, you have been multitasking, but it's causing you stress because I feel like you've got too much, too much going on. Now, I feel it's all positive. I don't see anything really negative around you, Gemini, in the month of September. I just get you uh, being a bit unfocused, scattered thinking, trying to juggle and multitask many different things. And for some of you, you're going silent with certain people who you're just wanting to avoid conflict with, is what I'm getting from spirit. Mm. Or people that you don't want to make a decision about just yet. You, I get like radio silence, so you may not be returning texts. Uh, mm. For some of you, that's reversed energy as well, guys. Let's see, I'm going to get some uh, cards here. I want to get, uh, get some clarifiers. Uh, let's start with um, let's start with this, uh, this card of silence. Can you clarify this for Gemini, please? This card of silence. 
nine of wands in reverse yeah it's become a bit too much so you've gone silent on people you may be uh, disappearing for a while here a uh, Gemini and you can can you clarify this uh, this energy here I get perhaps your mood has uh, a darker mood here a darker mood or someone's bringing a darker mood around you I've got the page of Pentacles in reverse whoever that is I feel it's someone around you who brings a darker mood to you uh, Gemini I get silence uh, perhaps attempting to avoid uh, this person let's see what's Gemini doing here spirit this page of Pentacles what are they doing with this page of Pentacles it's it's something that keeps coming back around this eight of cups in reverse you haven't I don't feel that you can I don't feel that you're fully communicating with this with it seems like a person guys someone that you need to make a decision about let's see okay king of cups yeah it's someone around you guys could be uh, I've got Scorpio Pisces Cancer or someone with a very strong watery energy or someone who is expressing uh, feelings towards you uh, Gemini I get trying to make a decision about this person let's see let's get some tea leaves what's going to be happening for my beautiful Gemini is future energy here for Gemini for September what's going to be happening for Gemini please during the month of September messages for Gemini dissatisfaction okay I'm picking that woman up as, as you, it uh, doesn't matter if you're a ma however you identify here, uh, you may be more mature, I get, I get you being, I've got the fox here, so I get you as someone who's uh, um, very resourceful, especially in business, okay, so there's been a dissatisfaction in general with, with life, uh, perhaps feeling like something is missing, but I get you a very intelligent, uh, very much someone who looks after themselves, uh, puts yourself first. Again, not a bad thing. I just see that as survival, guys. Survival. Uh, Gemini. What's coming up for Gemini, please, when it comes to the month of September? What's coming up for Gemini? A change for the better. That's good and getting back to basics and I think I did have that didn't I getting back to basics here cutting down too many too many too many positive opportunities <laughs> it kind of feels like that it seems like um, you're being called on to make to, to get off the fence here Gemini and make a choice make the choice because I feel like you've been multitasking there's a need for you to bring balance into your life um, juggling multiple projects or priorities has become a little bit too difficult it feels like the burden of responsibility it feels very heavy around you Gemini but uh, I get that uh, that's more you putting a heavy burden on yourself because you don't have to actually feel you don't have to feel guilty my spirit guide is saying you may feel guilty because this you've been juggling something because you felt it was good for your ego is what I'm getting but I, I feel I feel like the ego might have gotten a little bit out of control try not to beat yourself up about that I just get the need for you to 
yeah, accept responsibility for this situation and then make choices that lead to a change for the better. Okay, all right. Getting back to basics. I see success here around you. I do feel that you're going to make a choice that is going to lead to success. I do feel that this is going to cause you to let go of some people from your life. This energy of too much going on, this stress that's caused by too many opportunities. I get you looking at what is going to be for the long term here and getting rid of anything that isn't, you don't see is going to be going the distance. Okay, getting down to basics, focusing, reprioritizing on long term, on long term. Yeah, anything that you felt was just a distraction, good for the ego, maybe fun in the moment. I get that as something that you... Yeah, something that you've done because you, you were feared taking action and taking responsibility. Okay, you feared taking action, you feared taking responsibility and so you went silent. Perhaps about somebody around you okay all right I, I do get for some of you here you've had a choice between two people one person I get you someone who was trying very hard with you uh, it, it seems like you've made a choice for another person you may have felt guilty about that and gone silent on this person uh, that's for some of you not all of you Hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm going to get, uh, well, let's get, uh, let's get some kippers down. Okay, I want to get, first I want to get a kipper on this, uh, this King of Wands energy. For those of you who are dealing, you know, get a journey. This person may be coming towards you. Yeah, this is the main person. This person. I do see success with this individual who's journeying towards you or you towards them. You may be uh, planning on meeting this person. It, uh, it seems like a successful meeting. Uh, let's get a card on this, this King of Cups with this person who you seem to have not yet let go, let go of yet. But they're still around you is what I'm getting. That's, uh, that's for those of you who are dealing with a person. So let's see. This King of Cups. A message. Despair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately it feels like letting... Th there is a choice here. It, it does feel like a heavy burden letting go of someone here who perhaps has formed an attachment or feeling towards you, uh, Gemini, but it seems like they're not going to, they're not going to win here, they're not going to win the, the win the hand of, of Gemini, I get them being quite despairing and unhappy about this message. Mm. Yeah, or they could be, it seems like they're waiting on a message, waiting on a message. You may be waiting on texting this person, they may have texted you, you may not have texted them back. They, they seem to be despairing about not hearing from you. Why have you gone silent on them, Gemini? Let's see what this change is for the better with this fox energy. The fox and the butterfly. Ooh, marriage, okay. Well, you could be uh, deciding on someone here that you, you could be uh, committing to for some of you Gemini's. Okay. Someone that you've decided to put the work in with. I get occupation, something occupying your time. 
and an expectation yeah okay it's, it's something that you expect to go the long term with is what I'm getting here a Gemini an expectation of a commitment mm, okay I get you putting in your work a lot of effort towards uh, your life your work your career your goals uh, thinking of what you require long term you, you, you certainly not someone at the moment who uh, feels like they need to well I get ending ending anything that just feels like it's not going to be what you want long term really I get you being a lot more serious minded in the month of September uh, Gemini okay uh, what's this ego situation okay yeah it just seems like you you felt a bit restricted and trapped well, I get, again, I get for some kind of lucky Gemini's here have had a uh, an unexpected uh, gain of, of uh, a lot of people that are interested in you. Well, what can I say? Who wouldn't be right? So that's what I'm feeling here, and but it's 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 something that has um, it's like an ego trap, you know when you get a lot of people fighting for you wanting to wanting to have you as theirs uh fighting over you for some of you uh they this could be about career as well someone who's just really wanting to get you for their uh, for their to come work for them and they've, they've been trying really really hard and it's been pumping up your ego but at the end of the day you have to go with what you love whether that's a person or whether that's a, a job. Gemini, I'm going to leave it there for you guys and, and wish you all the very best. If, uh, if this has resonated, uh, please do leave me a comment down below and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And of course, if you're a newcomer, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy shop. The link is down below. Gemini, thanks again for watching and uh, thanks for, to my podcast listeners on Apple, Amazon and Spotify. Feel free to check me out on YouTube. My channel is Gypsy Insights by Michelle for more readings. Thanks Gemini. Please take care and bye for now.